Today on the North American Journeyman, it's back to international football as Costa Rica plays two games to see if they qualify for the World Cup. <laughs> We're back with the national team against El Salvador and then Honduras. Take you through what's been going on since the disappointment. Uh, we've won every game. We changed systems up to something kind of mad. Try and get AD Carlo a little bit more involved. You can see he scored a couple goals there. Got a goal here. Probably sat out that game. We beat Saprisa 4-2. And we beat um, Sporting 3-1. to one. This, I changed the tactic and I went a bit mad. Well, we're doing this because I changed into this tactic. But we only have four center backs because one of them's not registered. So it's exhausting the center backs. So we ended up swapping back into this one, which I also tweaked a little bit. But yeah, this thing's a little nuts. It scores a lot of goals when we've used it. Concedes a lot of chances. Can see this position looks a little bit kind of lost in space but the idea is to really open up this left side for david or, or hall whoever's in the game to get up and down and make things happen because those are two of our best players and if i wanted to i could swap him over like bring it in number 10 to make it more symmetrical or drop in a d mid to make it more defensive like there's options it's just playing around with stuff right now because we're easily qualified for the playoffs we're by far the top team. Saprisa's struggling. It looks like they might not even make top four. They could. I mean, they're five points back with two games left. So, But they're in the final of the Central American Cup. So maybe I would trade places with them. But probably not. So anyways, we're playing first game against El Salvador. We don't have to win. But we could really use it. We really need USA to beat Honduras, though. If they don't, then we're really in trouble. So we've made a couple changes. I'm going to stick with the young goalkeeper, even though the other ones are fit. But uh, I'm just trying to rest guys up a little bit. So this youngster left back is going to get his first cap. We're playing Gamboa. Calderon is going to start. Maybe that's not smart. But Chacon just bothers me because his mentality is just so bad. Um, Jimmy Espinosa is going to come in. I'd like to see a good performance from Danny Gonzalez. Mario, our guy, I called him up. He's going to start. And we're going to start Vegas. So we can rest up Rowan Wilson for the next game. So we're kind of rotating a little bit. Because that game against Honduras could be the decider. But if we don't take care of business today, I mean, it's against El Salvador. They're well out. We need to produce some results here. Let's show them what you're all about. Looks like they like that. We can end the talk there. They're playing a pretty standard system. Stick to our game plan. We're just rotating. He's playing on the right back. Pick the team. Some people might disagree with my approach, but hey, we're going for it. Good luck. We're in Costa Rica in Saprisa's ground again for some stupid reason. We don't play in the national team stadium. Even though it is listed as our as the national team stadium for the team. But yeah, Honduras cannot beat USA. USA could really screw us over if they drop points here. There's also the possibility that we finish as the best third place team and then go into the playoffs but this might be a short run thing in the national team if we can't perform here so let's see what we can do because the last few episodes couple episodes at least have not been going my way Mario should be through here though can cross it into you Galdi ends up in the back of the net are they calling that an own goal or what? No, that, sh that should count for you, Galdi. This is a nice little pass here from Gonzalez. 
slipping through Mario, takes it all the way to the byline, header, ba-boom, off the goalkeeper's hands. Dominguez is kind of involved. Ugaldi gets credit for it, and we are leading. Should bring us up to seven points. If we can just finish this game off early, that'd be nice. Ooh, Gamboa with the chance, but they somehow get away with it. Might need to take Mario off kind of early, actually, because he's probably going to play in the next game. Jamaica's destroying Guatemala. That's good to see. We don't want Haiti to do good. They're losing to Mexico for the third place team. Because if things don't go well against Honduras, that might be our only way in. Oh, that's a penalty. 100%. Espinoza. He's flopping around like a dead fish on the ground trying to trying to get the sympathy trying to get simpatico awarded should be Ugaldi yellow card yeah let's just smash El Salvador please good finish from Ugaldi 2-0 good stuff gentlemen the next game's at home as well so we went through the hardest part of qualification. Yeah, Curacao's on nine points. Panama, I think they're winning, actually. So we probably want Panama to lose, point-wise. Ugaldi driving through the lines, taking a shot straight at Ramirez. Good effort, don't mind it. I thought he was just going to let that one straight in. Barcelona. Um, no, Guatemala's losing. Yeah, Panama's beating Suriname. I don't know about you guys, but I, you, Suriname usually qualifies for the World Cup whenever I do saves. Like how often, very often out of CONCACAF. I mean, I know they're actually pretty good in the region. Honduras is beating USA one to nothing. Got some complacent guys. Come on, guys. Don't get complacent yet. So we would, if we beat Honduras, I think it's it's probably head-to-head. -head, so if we beat Honduras, we should probably get through. But I think our goal difference actually would probably be better, too. But come on, USA. Don't screw us over like this. You already ripped our hearts out twice. And we're going to make some subs. Vega can play through this whole one. I think we're going to take out... Mario. For... Jorge Torres. He can play on this side. Take Gamboa out. I think the rest is probably all right for now. Now we have Ruggiero who could go in up top. Well, we're good for now. He's complacent. I don't care. Come on, USA. Please beat Honduras. Are we just going to blow our chances here in the first game? I don't like all this complacency. It's not what we're all about here. We're trying to... Okay, they... Pull a sec. That's pull a sec with a K. Grab a third goal. I might come down to goal difference here, so. Calderon, Gamboa, Aguilera. We should probably rest him. If we get up 3 0 here. 
Plays it back to Badia. I like it. Back to Aguilera. Finishes it. Gorgeous. Was he off on that one? No. No. That's a goal. Awarded. I like it. All right. Bring him out. Three to nothing. Cool. Let's close this thing up. Um, Gonzalez can come out, actually, too, for a little Suarez action. We're going to drop Vega in, do a number, uh, to a CDM. People say that. CDM. I don't know. Defensive midfielder. Central defensive midfielder. I'm going to rest Gamboa. Sure. Chacon. Actually, this Gonzalez guy I'd like to take a look at. And Aguilera definitely comes out for... I actually don't know anything about these guys. Which ones am I looking at? Nunez. He was the one who was a bit injured. Yeah, Nunez. He's kind of a good one. I actually said in a press conference that this guy was going to play. This old guy. So, on accident. So he can actually come in. That's my mistake. And we'll just, yeah, we'll make one more substitution late. Make sure we hang on here. Instructions. Go ahead and just slow things down, boys. You don't need to worry about that. Get rid of that. We're just going full on standard. Come on, USA. Seven points on third place. Yeah, Panama's struggling now. They're actually winning, but they're only on four points. All right, late sub. Who wants it? Um, Victor Vega might need some rest. Should be good with Thorn and Hall, though, next game. So I'm just going to play Vega and give you Goldie a rest. Nah, he's a striker. Yeah, 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 that's fine. Ruggiero. Ruggiero can come in. Make me proud. Grab another goal. Come on, USA. Honduras scored again. They're winning. They're going to beat USA. <laughs> Torres, far post, but it falls to Suarez. I think Suarez is off. Either way, I'll praise him up. Good job. He was pretty level with the defender who was marking him, but you never know. Count it. Count it. Boom. Yeah, oh no, he came. Yeah. He moved forward. Glided forward into position and nodded it in. I can't believe Honduras just beat USA, though. Where's the two late goals in that game? Why don't you do it to them? <sighs> Good job, especially you, Galdi. Espinoza, you did well. Murillo, you did well. Aguilera, you did well. Badia, excellent job. Calderon, you did well. Barcelo, really well. Suarez, you did well. Um, it's big. It's what we're all about. Uh, we never lack belief. Injected into my veins. I don't know why. I always go with that one, but I find it weird that you would say that in a press conference. If I could inject that 90 minutes or so into my veins and make it last forever, I would. Like, I mean... If I could snort that 90 minutes up my nose, like we're in Central America, let's speak Central American language here, right? I'm sure they inject things into their veins there too. But anyways, we played well, I'm happy. I can't believe... So goal difference is already in our favor. So even if it's goal difference or if it's head-to-head, -head, it's clear as day, we just have to beat Honduras. A draw does not get it done because they beat USA. I'm not going to go through this stuff. We'll be back because I think there's some stuff in between. Some, uh, Yeah, I think we have this. Cup final. I'm not going to show you the cup final. The cup doesn't matter here. 
And then maybe even another game too. Cartagena, Primera Division. Yeah, I don't know. I think we have two games with, with the team. So we'll be back for the all-important game against Honduras. Okay, here's the situation. Well, we played one game. In the league, we beat Cartagena 5-2. And the cup got scheduled till later because it was Saprissa versus Santa Ana. Santa Ana won, but they didn't play until like yesterday. And so they, they pushed the cup final back. But Santa Ana beat Saprissa, and Saprissa finally fired their coach. Because, I mean, it doesn't show it here, but they haven't qualified for the playoffs. There's one game left. They're four points back. So they're not even making it to the to have a chance to win the opening stage. But we're playing today. Trying to get why is this showing up? We need to win to finish second. If we don't win, we'll finish third. And then it's all about being the best third place team. And that is in jeopardy because Curacao plays Haiti. And if Haiti wins, they would be on nine points. They would finish as the best third place team, probably, unless they turn around the goal difference. I guess it doesn't really matter because we just need to win, but... And a win will ensure that we get both goal difference and um, it is based on goal difference and then scored and then results between teams. We would get both of those because we drew in our first match. So this is the team. Barcelona sticking around. The youngster. Okay, Sada Thorne's coming in. He likes the position. Mario played good in the last game. Ugaldi, this Bennett guy. Wait for him to start playing good. Wait for Danny Gonzalez to start playing good. Rowan Wilson, we rested him, so he's in. Um, Suarez is actually going to play this spot because uh, the guy who normally plays there just got injured in between. The really good center midfielder who I'm blanking on his name right now. Hall I rested, he's back in. Gamboa's okay. I'm playing Chacon. If this comes back to bite me, it's probably going to be Chacon. I got asked in the press conferences if if Honduras is on a high because they just beat USA, and they probably are, we need to win this. I have faith in you. I'll even put my hands on my hips for you. He's unsure. It might be the difference. I know some of these. I know Palma, Decas, Rivas is the fast one. Good form. Attacking approach? Yeah, we'll take it into account. Starts again. It's playing well. Let's keep it up. Playing well. I mean, he got a shutout in the last game, so. Yeah, they're playing a bunch of youngsters. They're not playing our center back. Who's this Garcia guy, though? 20 years old? Yeah, I mean, I think they just produce... Like, this guy's not that good. But I think Honduras just produces better regens than Costa Rica. That's just what I'm what I'm seeing so far. I mean, we have guys like Hall. But we need the win. We're at home. We are slight favorites. But we like to give away penalties. Can we keep this one out? They got a lot of numbers in the box. Good tackle, but they're going to end up with it. Contreras. Berchier. Low down. Barcelo spills it, and it goes to Honduras. Oh, come on. I mean, it was a tough cross to deal with, I suppose. Yeah, I didn't really know what to do with it, but that's not the place that you want to hit that one out to. <sighs> so we need Curacao to have this result hold or beat Haiti as of right now. So we're under the, under the cosh here again. Can we do something? Come back in this. 
this could be my job too, probably here, if I if we don't make this happen. Gutierrez, good tackle. Chacon, he's on a yellow already. Here we go. Let's build. Suarez, my boy Suarez, with my boy Murillo. Playing four Liga guys. Header goes in. Great header from Danny Gonzalez. All in off the post. And we've leveled it up. Oh, sorry, Gamboa as well. So that's five. Wait. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five. Five Liga boys. Three Saprisa. And three others. I think that's right. Barcelo Saprisa. Rowan Wilson is Saprisa. That's not a good pass, but Suarez runs onto it. Did he mean that? Can, can Mario do? Whack to Wilson. Takes a shot. Low down. Rowan Wilson. We're up two to one. An absolute scorcher. And that moves us up into second place. Yeah, he dummy decast with that one. Let's say that he meant to do it. And then this is just beautiful first time. And their goalkeeper lets it in. Two to one. This hasn't changed. There it goes. I think this rivalry actually, or this is a rivalry, I'm pretty sure in Central. It might be like the Central American Classico or something like that. In Spanish, obviously. Wilson, can he slip somebody through? Gonzalez, I like what he's doing here. Three to one. Nice. Danny Gonzalez showing up. Good. His team in Mexico, I keep kind of keeping an eye on him because if they get relegated, I think we can snatch him up. And he would be a pretty big improvement for the number 10 spot if we go back to that. Or even just a center midfielder who's very attacking. But his team in Mexico is horrible right now. So we'd have to wait for them to get relegated. Oh, Mario goes down injured. His foot. What do we want? Got this Nunez guy. I think we go with our Torres. Like this. He could still play winger. I don't mind that. But Torres definitely prefers inside forward. Since we taught it to him, he, he really likes it more than playing on the right. Three to one, though. Panama's making some work. Seven points there. They actually jump Guatemala with that. Free kick goal from Bennett. Make it 4-1 first half. Take Chacon out at halftime. Come on. Come on, Bennett. Put it in. Seal it. Oh, it was straight at the goalkeeper, but it had so much power. Just blasted it in. So if you're unaware... This episode should come out probably before <laughs> the Copa America happens, but these two played each other in a playoff in USA in real life to determine who goes to Copa America. And it was a good game. I watched it. And Costa Rica came out on top. And it looks like we're going to come out on top here and qualify for the World Cup. And I'll get to keep my job. Keep it up. Yeah, Jamaica's just running away with it. They're just... They're pretty good. Gutierrez, always rising. Oh, I said I was going to change out Chacon. Eh. Let's risk it. Header. Barcelo. It's an own goal somehow. Four to two. No, don't do it to me. Oh, it just, 
went off Barcelo and then back off the guy in the near post and then back off Barcelo and into the net. That's brutal. That's brutal. Yeah, Prisky Tierras. Hall's not playing well. Too nervous to make any changes. Are they going to grab a goal? We already are pretty bad at giving up late goals. Look at that header back. What? Dangerous. Very dangerous. Here we go. Playing out of the back. Bennett. Go for a little dribble. I don't mind it. You're good at it. Rowan Wilson. Suarez. Plays Gonzalez who rips a shot. Beautiful sh Danny Gonzalez. That's a hat trick from Danny Gonzalez. Five to two. I mean, this our goals are pretty in this one. Look at this. Boom. First time. Such pace. Much pace. Much beauty. We might go... He can play center mid, right? He can. And Ron Wilson can play here. So I think we're gonna do this just to. I don't. I don't mind a roaming playmaker every now and again. We're gonna go cautious. We're just gonna drop it in a little bit. Don't worry about regrouping. Don't do that. Just. We got three goals. Chacon's complacent. I suppose Gonzalez, this guy. I'm not super confident on him, but. And then Hall's probably going to come out too. In this stoppage, might as well. For Vega, this guy's solid. He's very solid. We are full left backs. I've never had so many left backs that I'm like, yeah, I'm happy to play you. Like we're playing a left back at right back right now, Quesada Thorn. And I do the same thing for Liga. Close it out. Torres isn't doing good since he came in. So you know what? Just to switch it up, we'll do this. Back to wingers. Can you play back here? He can, but I'm good. One more stoppage. We'll save it for... Late, excuse me. Curacao's hanging on. Panama's really done some work to come back. USA is winning, unsurprisingly. And we are closing this thing out. Had me nervous there. This was not easy. I thought it was going to be tough. We're going to Cliver Gomez for Thorne. Now nah, Thorne plays it through. It's fine. Eh, who else can play there? Calderon can play it. Did I bring on the wrong Vega? Oh, no. This is just a different Vega. That's right. This is the D mid Vega, who can also kind of play right back, who played in the last game. But there's also there's a third Vega, I think, who, who's not on the bench. Um, who else do I want to see? Ruggiero up top, maybe? Just to freshen it up. And... Yeah, go on. Cliver Gomez. It's fine. He's another... He's another, um, Saprisa boy. Who's mad about something or other. Praise... Whew, looks like Costa Rica is going to slip into that third position. They're going to go off to the playoffs. And we, after all of the pain and hurt from the last couple episodes, we've qualified for the World Cup. You did the job. Roan Wilson, it was your goal, I think, that did it. And Danny Gonzalez had a hat trick. Are you kidding me? You were excellent. He lost focus. Apparently you weren't. Okay. What a comeback. I'm ecstatic. We were excellent. Fabulous strike. Beautiful stuff. Whew. 
Ended up with a pretty good goal difference with this throttling, and then we smashed El Salvador twice. But it looks like Curacao held on. Panama turned it around and they qualified. Guatemala's out. Turned dominance into victory. It was a good performance. They had chances themselves, but... Yeah, oh, five to six weeks for Murillo. Dude. Qualify for the World Cup, seventh time for Costa Rica. We got a build on it. That's good. We moved up three positions. We're ranked 58th. Classy Gonzalez. Yeah, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. So he plays, yeah, for Atlanta. I just looked at them one time. Like, they haven't won a single game in the Apertura. They're on four points. Unfortunately, Leon who's probably much better than them. So Leon should do better in the in the closing stage. But it's the overall table that gets the team relegated. So if they get relegated, then his release fee will drop from 3 million to 1.5 million. He'll probably be eager to leave, and then we can snatch him up cuz he's pretty good. Is he their best player? He is their key player. He's good. He's 21. It's at Santos. And they grabbed him right before I got there. But let's just take a look real quick at Honduras. Playoffs against Ghana. Straight into the World Cup playoff final, though. Win and you're in. Ghana, the World Cup, by the way, does it say the toast, the host? It's in Turkey. Or no, well, it's probably because the playoffs are in Turkey. Caps lock is on. World Cup is in. Yeah, it's got to be Turkey. Italy are the defending winners. Thailand's qualified, blah, blah, blah. I'm not going through all this stuff. But I will look at just Costa Rica's history. Um... Going all the way back. So they had some Nations League stuff. Copa America. Yeah, so based on the Nations League performance, you end up in a Copa America playoff where you just qualify for it. So that's cool for the CONCACAF teams. Nations League stuff. So Gold Cup, they made a quarterfinal. Uh, they made to the final of the World Cup playoff back when it was through the semifinal and they lost on penalties to Peru. 2026 Gold Cup, they made another quarterfinal. Copa America playoff, they made it into Copa America, where they looks like they just went out of the group. And then another Nations League performance where they didn't do very well. And then this Gold Cup where they didn't make it out of the group, and then they got fired. And this is our us taking over. And we've qualified for the World Cup. Q. All right. We're, we're moving things back in the right direction. So we will be back for, I guess, the opening phase. We're not going to watch this third place game. It's probably going on some, somewhere around the, the time of the opening phase semifinal, who will probably be against one of these two guys. San Carlos or Cartaginés. Because this issue is going on again, where they're disappointed because it's not over yet. I don't know. So we'll be back. Thanks for watching. We did it. I was concerned there, but we've we've made it work. So cool. It's nice to have something good happen after a couple bad things happening. So thanks for hanging in there, guys, and watching me get all frustrated. I hope it's enjoyable for you, at least. I'm not really too bothered. I, I enjoy this. That's why I play the game. So all right, we'll see you next time. Adios, my friends. Mm -hmm.